Hello, in this session, we will see clearly about the Bluetooth usage. We are going to install the Bluetooth terminal app and we are going to talk about how exactly the Bluetooth is going to be used with Arduino. After this session, you will clearly understand how to use HC05 Bluetooth module with Arduino Uno, the installation of Bluetooth terminal app in Android phones, usage of the software serial library and finally connecting a new HC05 module to a Bluetooth terminal app. We will start with installation of Bluetooth terminal app. How to use the HC05 is the first step that we need to understand. We have seen why Bluetooth has been booming in the world of IoT. There are multiple reasons which include the cost, the coverage, ease of usage, etc. We need not go deeper into it now, but we should do something interesting which can connect Arduino with Bluetooth. Before controlling the Bluetooth module, we need to have some knowledge prior about HC05. Unlike other sensors, whatever we have seen in the previous sessions, HC05 is different. Any sensor which you see which has RX and TX pin can transmit data over serial ports. Remember this, these type of modules are called as serial communication modules and you have some picture in front of you that shows that it has RXT and TXT and that is nothing but HC05 module. Hence it can be called as HC05 serial communication module. Let us get the ingredients ready with all prerequisites installed. In this exercise we will be using a smartphone to send and receive data from the Arduino and HC05 Bluetooth module. We will be needing the following things and all these are to be ready before you start working. First one Arduino Uno, second one HC05 Bluetooth module, third smartphone with Android OS Lollipop or upper version installed, jumper OS and breadboard. We will be using a free Android application called as Bluetooth Terminal HC05 which is available in Google Play Store for free. You need not pay and it is absolutely free and you can download it. And once you search for it, you can get it listed immediately in the Play Store. It is a 3.5 MB app and gets downloaded at the earliest. Now, once the Android app is installed, click on the icon to open it. The app gets immediately opened and you will get a dialog box appearing in front of you. It will ask you for permissions to be granted for switching on the Bluetooth. Click allow. Only then the Bluetooth can be used from the phone. Then it shows all the previously paired devices to your mobile and it will be listed one after another. And the same has been presented in front of you from our phone view. Now, software serial library. What is it? Very simple, Arduino Uno has got only one serial interface, which means it has got RX and TX interface. While uploading the code to Arduino, inbuilt serial interface is used for burning of the bit code into the microcontroller. So whenever the code is being uploaded into Arduino, all the connections to inbuilt RX and TX pins of Arduino must be removed and uploaded. Removing and reconnecting RX and TX pins manually whenever you upload the code to Arduino causes lot of inconvenience and it is technically difficult as well. So software serial library is used to create virtual serial interface which means RX and TX pins. Inbuilt RX and TX pins of Arduino Uno are present at digital 0 and 1 pins respectively in the board. It has been revealed in the picture that has been presented in the right hand side of the presentation. You can see that 0 and 1 are connected to RX and TX respectively. Connections without software serial is to be understood. If software serial library is not available or not used, then inbuilt RX and TX pins of Arduino are used for serial transmission. Please note that always in serial communication, 
the rx pin of serial communication module is connected to tx pin of arduino uno and vice versa the table for arduino and hc05 is presented and the mapping is all done as well the 5 volt pin has to be connected to vcc the ground pin has to be connected to the ground pin of hc05 0 to txt 1 to rxt 0 and 1 of arduino are respectively treated as rx and tx and the same has been explained in the previous slide the connection diagrams are also presented for easier understanding right in front of you in case we have software serial library installed and is available with us then the connections are to be made this way 5 volt pin to be connected to vcc ground pin to be connected to ground pin 2 and 4 are chosen now and 2 to rxt 4 to txt this is the benefit that we get out of installing the software serial library you need not mandatorily stay with the traditional 0 and 1 rx and tx for you to get the serial communication established instead have a software serial library which will enable you to get the connections done superbly and seamlessly connecting to the hc05 is the next step that we need to understand go to the scan button that is available in the android app just click that you will get all the devices scanned and listed one after another clearly in the app now the new device will also be made available and you need to select it once you do it you need to next step pair it pairing can be done after you set a password and that password is nothing but the pin that we normally use one two three four kind of pins can be used and once set it it's all over for us and it's easy set the pin and click ok then you will have the connection creation step left out right now the newly paired device would be available there but it would not have been connected only when you click it you can get it connected just click on it and you can immediately see that the status will get updated as connecting and after some seconds it will get the updated as connected to the receiver that's it it's very simple the same setup will be followed by a real-time demo for your easier understanding the first step you need to download the application bluetooth terminal from the google play store go to google play store type bluetooth terminal the first app available is bluetooth terminal hc05 install it it might take probably about 30 seconds for you to download it completely once it is downloaded you open it the first step is to search for the existing devices by using the scan option when you search for it it will start scanning the available devices in the range and you will get the hc05 listed immediately pair it appropriately with 1234 as a default password once you are done with it you need to connect it and that's all the screen is available in front of you as you can see right now 